Hello, you possums. I'm pleased and slightly aroused to inform you that on the 19th of November this year, I will be joining the Men's Day March Committee in London at a venue to be announced. I am also to be announced as a, as a speaker. I've already been announced as a speaker. But I, I'm, uh, I'm going to do some announcing of my Because <laughs> I'm so good at speaking and stuff. <laughs> I'll be doing a, a short lecture on the topic of... Well, the intersection between mental health and lulls. Two things which go together like chalk and the quarry from which you got the chalk. Instead of asking the age-old question, why are women not funny? I will be asking a less controversial question, why are men funny? While the rest of the world says we need more women in comedy, I will instead be asking why not get more men into not killing themselves? We're going to run this one home, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to break through that glass coffin lid. It's going to be fab. Links in the low bar, etc., etc. I will see you there. Or you will see me there. Or neither. Or, or both. Whatever's your poisson. In Chatelet. All right. Back to business. Oh, look, a video about getting more women into comedy. We need more women in comedy. This video's from, from, from Twitter. I couldn't find it on YouTube, and I was worried that I'd get a copyright strike if I responded to it. But then Goodfellow responded to it. It's been a couple of days, and he has no strikes. So, I'll proceed. <laughs> he's, he's, my, he's my Glaswegian in a coal mine. We can't, we can't afford canaries. And thanks to Skeptor for finding this. He's, he's, my, he's my Israeli in the shaft. <laughs> Let's get the band back together, guys. Reunion tour! Because comedy is power. When you tell jokes, you are in charge. You're on the mic. You might be outnumbered. But your voice is the loudest in the room. You're writing the story. You're telling it your way. That's power. Is it? Interesting. Because I've laughed 26,411 times in my life. And on every one of those occasions, what happened was I lost control of my face. And to some degree, my brain. I was mo momentarily overcome by a, by a euphoria that caused my face to contort and my diaphragm to contract and my brain to... I don't think I can describe what goes on in my brain when I'm laughing. That might be why it's so beautiful. And this all happens quite reflexively and out of my control. I, I thought that was the whole idea of comedy. It's fun to lose control. And surely power is about seizing control. The comedian is not seizing control of the audience. Even a magician can't do that. The comedian is inviting the audience to join in in this state of entropy they've discovered, this loss of control. I mean, telling people what to do is about power. Ordering people around is about power. You can have a comedy routine that at some point or other involves ordering people around and telling your audience what to think, but you better have it bookended with some really funny shit. I mean, you just make observations and leave people to make up their own minds. Because people generally don't go to comedy events to be told what to think. They go to comedy events to get away from that shit. So they can spend a couple of hours not having to think about heavy stuff like power and control. I'm not saying women aren't funny. I'm saying control freaks aren't funny. I can complete the syllogism if you like, but I think you know what I'm saying. That's power. More women should have that. All right, too long didn't listen, colon. If what you crave is power, you're going to be a shitty comedian. Unless you steal other people's material. <laughs> yep, people have got rich doing that, so every cloud. More women of all colors and shapes and shoe sizes should have that. That's what you said about cakes and look what I got you. Oh, I know you stinker. Because comedy is business. Yep. Comedy is work. Oh, yes. It might be fun and funny sometimes, but it's how I get paid. I don't understand your butt. Sometimes the nickels and Sprite, which I love, but still. Sprite's not still, it's sparkling. Little bit of industry advice, try and include the punchline. If you get treated differently from men when you're doing the job, that's uncool at best and illegal at worst. All right, so is the Olympics 
legal or just uncool? Imagine being the only woman or person of color or queer person or trans person in the lineup at a stand-up show. I, I, it's so hard to imagine. What does, does it feel isolating and unnerving? Like you're surrounded by people who don't get you? Gee, what's that like? I've never had a bad gig. That makes the show <laughs> diverse. <laughs> oh, someone give that. That's got to be a gift. <laughs> diverse. <laughs> oh, shit. Is that digital blackface? Can we not do that anymore? Man, I'm glad comedy isn't being ruined. The MC introducing you says, now we've got a lady coming to the stage. And then the audience cheers. Because the audience is full of ladies. Ugh. There's no need for that. And then, even without the lady intro, you, as the only woman, you have a big job. Dope comics just have to spend the next eight minutes proving that they're funny. But you, you have to spend the next eight minutes proving that women are funny. That sounds awful. If I were a woman, I'd be like, shit, I don't want to do comedy now. Women have to live up to much higher expectations and work twice as hard to do it. You say that about literally everything, though. If I were a woman, I'd be like, shit, I don't want to do anything. It all sounds awful. I've, I've said this so many times now, but if you want to encourage women to do something, then maybe don't lie about how awful it is. <laughs> yeah? Oh, and get paid less? Yeah, again, the lies don't help. I, I, won't, I won't tell you to stop lying. You can stop if and when you're ready. I'm just saying, if you hang a sign on a door saying misogynist zone ahead, that will not encourage women to open that door. When will you fucking get this? More women in comedy would mean that each individual woman doesn't have to represent her entire gender. Really? Because there's six of you in this video and you're all still doing it. More women in comedy would mean that people would finally stop talking. <laughs> Why? Why have I stopped you there? <laughs> so many levels. You've... You've hit the stumbling block on which I almost fell myself just now. People really don't like being told to stop talking. Even if it takes the form of stop lying. It's the stop part that really rubs people the wrong way. If you so much as point out that they use the same word for fucking everything or ask them why, they'll interpret it as stop. So they have an excuse to call you the fucking language police. But that's just, that's the absolute, like, bottom dregs of the internet. I wouldn't spend too much time worrying about them. It will serve you well, in general, to take a pro-free speech stance here rather than an anti-free speech stance. That won't stop the mindless tribal shit heels from calling you fascists or Nazis or language police, but it will at least leave you in the right. Not in the, not in the right, in the right, you know what I mean. More women in comedy would mean that people would finally stop talking about two kinds of comedy. Comedy and women's comedy. What two kinds of comics? Comedians and, oh, God help us, comedians. How do you feel about women-only comedy events where they only allow female performers? Which are very much a thing, by the way, especially in capital cities. Would that solve this issue of yours? Or might it exacerbate the problem or possibly even cause it in the first place? Be my guest, darling. Go to an organizer of one of these women-only comedy events and tell her that what she's doing is part of the problem. And please, record the conversation and upload it to the internet while I grab a lifetime supply of popcorn. <laughs> yeah, socialist feminists versus segregationist feminists. It's the battle of the century. <laughs> yeah, it would be nice if you actually argued with each other for a change rather than both taking out all your shit on men. We can dream. We need enough women in comedy so that being a woman, being a person of color, being a queer person, a trans person is no longer different or interesting. We're just comics. I agree. It's a good thing you never bring those things up in your comedy act, isn't it? Oh, wait, what you do? It's your entire fucking act! Well, this is quite a how do you do, isn't it? <laughs> it's obvious at this point that you're all reading from the same script, so I shall respond to you all at the, at the same time. If you want everyone to stop talking about it, then maybe you should stop talking about it. Are you part of everyone? Are you included in the concept of everyone? Yeah, only when you feel like it, right. More women in comedy is also good business. Why? 
More women in comedy means more jokes. More jokes about more things. More jokes means more laugh, which means more dollars. You've been at it for two minutes, and the closest I've heard to a joke from any of you was the line about Nichols and Sprite, and I had to fill in the punchline myself. This, this is why some people don't like female comedians, because so bloody many of you are too busy bitching about identity politics to come up with any fucking jokes. People should do more math. What? People should do more math. Oh, math. <laughs> okay, fuck me. <laughs> I was going to say, just get drunk, you'll be fine. Women are good at that too. Yeah, <laughs> yes indeed. Most of the laughter at any given comedy night is coming from drunk women. God bless them. I mean it, they'll, they'll, they'll save your night. Very, very often you'll find yourself in a room that's just dead. No one's laughing at anything. Except the two drunk girls on the table at the front who are laughing at literally everything. <laughs> I'm serious, a couple of drunk girls will turn a bad gig into, a, into an okay gig. Don't fuck them though. For the love of God, don't fuck them. They'll be sober in the morning. Because comedy is so important. Yeah, that's what you all said about video games. Do you see why people have trust issues? Comedians help us process the day's events. Comedy, maybe especially now, helps us feel like we're not losing our minds. How do you feel about this joke? I wouldn't even rape you. It's the way he tells him, man. It's the way he tells him. What I like about that joke is, as you said, it helps us process the humorless hysteria of the various totalitarian barbarians that oversee our legal system and the brainwashed henchmen who decide on everyone else's behalf who is and who is not a humanist. And it just goes to show you, you can tell a joke once and get an endless amount of shit for it for the rest of your life, or you can say the same joke a thousand times and not get any shit for it, depending on which magic word you use. And depending on whether you're actually getting under people's skin in real life or just sitting on the internet pointlessly wanking over an endless stream of low-hanging or already fallen fruits, each to their own. If we have only one set of faces and voices helping us do that, we're missing out. That's very good advice for any convention organizers out there. You listening? If we have a whole lot of perspectives, well, everyone wins. Except those perspectives. Those perspectives we should banish forever. We don't want anyone making fun of how much we constantly go on about or rape. So what do we do? <laughs> I know. Get more women into comedy. How? How? Yes, how? People with power in comedy should work hard to book women. People with power in comedy? But you just said comedy is power. So everyone who's in comedy has power in comedy. So what do you, you mean men, don't you? Hire women, represent women, and mental women. Women are in trouble and men need to fix it for them. Is that your message? Is that your conclusion? Is that your summary? Mind blown, yo, I've never heard that one before. More women in comedy starts with more girls in comedy, like me. If you want to get hired, try being good at the job. Have you considered that? They're there. Yeah. <laughs> Just because you feel it doesn't mean it's there. There's always a siren singing us to shipwreck. Let's start by telling girls that it's good to be funny. <laughs> girls, it's good to be funny. <laughs> really? Oh my God, I thought funny was another word for herpes. That they're already funnier than they think. What is self-doubt? What is self-deprecation? What is self-examination? All key ingredients in being a great comedian is what they are, and you don't want women to have them. What is self-awareness? Let's tell them that being funny means being exactly who they are already, just with a few more punchlines. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like one. <laughs> Let's start with one punchline, yeah? Rather than just a string of egotistical whinges with no payoff in sight. Let's show girls that comedy is not the thing that dudes do that girls laugh at. It is though, isn't it? It's not exclusively. Try adding instead of subtracting. Yes, and. Let's show girls that comedy is theirs. Okay, possessiveness and territorialism are just different kinds of control freakery. If that's your bag, then I don't want you anywhere near comedy. 
Fortunately, neither does the audience. And that whether they want to be stand-up funny or YouTube funny, or improv funny or disarm a bully funny. Disarm a bully funny? What the fuck does that mean? Oh, Trump. <laughs> I keep forgetting. That's a, that's a genre now as well. Trump! <laughs> Trump, am I right? Are you a hack comedian with no sense of creativity? Why not shit on Trump and Brexit for five minutes? You're blending seamlessly with all the other guppies. Or Snapchat funny. Super chat! Or just funnier stump speech for the class president funny. Or just funnier stump speech for the class pre- I don't know what that means. I- it's already translated and I still don't know what it means and I'm not gonna stare at the subtitles racking my brain in bewilderment this time. I'm moving on with my dick held high. Comedy is power. Yes, he said, and to reiterate, I disagree. I mean, power is energy, and energy is everything, so power is everything, but some things are about seizing power, and some things are about relinquishing power. As far as I can decipher, laughter is about relinquishing power. But what would I know? I'm just a blah 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 fill in the blank. But thank you for, for bringing it back full circle. I was starting to worry that this video would be unstructured, but it's, it's almost symmetrical now. It's, it's just a good place to leave it. But I'm determined to get through every clip of this and reach the end. Let's go. And that power is theirs. Whose? Are you a woman or not? And if people can't tell, then what the fuck is the issue? Is that it? Is that, is that the end? That is the end. Okay. <laughs> fuck me. That was abrupt and a little bit jarring. I suppose I better...